Sahih al-Bukhari The Book of Representation or Authorization Chapter on a partner can deputize for another while distributing things, etc. No doubt, the Prophet peace be upon him shared his havi, that is, sacrificing animals, with Ali and then ordered Ali to distribute them. Narrated Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, ordered me to distribute the saddles and skins of the Buddh, which I had slaughtered. Narrated Uqba bin Amr, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, had given him sheep to distribute among his companions, and a male kid was left after the distribution. When he informed the Prophet, peace be upon him, of it, he said to him, Offer it as a sacrifice on your behalf. Chapter on If a Muslim Deputizes a Non-Muslim Warrior in a Country of Infidelity or in a Muslim State, the Contract is Valid. Narrated Abdul Rahman bin Auf, may Allah be pleased with him, I got an agreement written between me and Umayyah bin Khalaf, that Umayyah would look after my property or family in Mecca, and I would look after his in al Madina. When I mentioned the word Ar-Rahman in the documents, Umayyah said, I do not know Ar-Rahman. Write down to me your name, with which you called yourself in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. So I wrote my name, Abdu Amr. On the day of the battle of Badr, when all the people went to sleep, I went up the hill to protect him. Bilal saw him, that is Umayyah, and went to a gathering of Ansar and said, Here is Umayyah bin Khalaf. I will not be saved if Umayyah is saved. Woe to me if he escapes. So a group of Ansar went out with Bilal to follow us, Abdul Rahman and Umayyah. Being afraid that they would catch us, I left Umayyah's son for them to keep them busy. But the Ansar killed the son and insisted on following us. Umayyah was a fat man. And when they approached us, I told him to kneel down and he knelt and I laid myself on him to protect him. But the Ansar killed him by passing their swords underneath me, and one of them injured my foot with his sword. The sub-narrator said, Abdul Rahman used to show us the trace of the wound on the back of his foot. Footnote Umayyah used to torture Bilal severely when he was in Mecca because he had embraced Islam. Chapter on to deputize one in exchanging money and weighing goods. Umar and Ibn Umar deputized a person in money exchanges. Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Khudri and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, employed someone as a governor at Khaybar. When the man came at al Madinah, he brought with him dates called Janib. The Prophet, peace be upon him, asked him, Are all the dates of Khaybar of this kind? The man replied, No. We exchange two sara of bad dates for one sara of this kind of dates, that is, Janib, or exchange three sara for two. On that, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Don't do so, as it is a kind of riba, usury, but sell the dates of inferior quality for money and then buy Janib with the money. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said the same thing about dates sold by weight. See Hadith number 2312. Chapter on If a Shepherd or a Deputy Saw a Dying Sheep or Something Which Is Going to Be Spoiled, He Is Allowed to Slaughter the Sheep and Save the Thing Liable to Be Spoiled. Narrated Ka'ab bin Malik, We Had Some Sheep, which used to graze at Salar. One of our slave girls saw a sheep dying, and she broke a stone and slaughtered the sheep with it. He, my father, said to them, The people, Don't eat it till I ask the Prophet peace be upon him about it, or till I send somebody to ask the Prophet peace be upon him. So he asked, or sent somebody to ask the Prophet peace be upon him, and the Prophet peace be upon him permitted them to eat it. Ubaidullah, 
a sub-narrator said. I admired that girl, for though she was a slave girl, she dared to slaughter the sheep. Chapter on It is Permissible to Depute a Person Whether He is Present or Absent Ubaidullah bin Amr wrote to his representative, who was not present, to pay Sadaqatul Fitr on behalf of the children, both young and old. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him owed somebody a camel of a certain age. When he came to demand it back, the Prophet peace be upon him said to some people, Give him his due. When the people searched for a camel of that age, they found none, but found a camel one year older. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Give it to him. On that, the man remarked, You have given me my right in full. May Allah give you in full. The Prophet peace be upon him said, The best amongst you is the one who pays the rights of others generously. Chapter on To Depute a Person to Repay Debts Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, a man came to the Prophet peace be upon him demanding his debts and behaved rudely. The companions of the Prophet peace be upon him intended to harm him, but Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said to them, Leave him, for the creditor, that is, owner of a right, has the right to speak. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him then said, Give him a camel of the same age as that of his. The people said, O Allah's Messenger, there is only a camel that is older and better than his. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Give it to him. For the best amongst you is he who pays the rights of others generously. Chapter on It is Permissible for One to Give a Gift to a Deputy of Some People or to Their Intercessor. This is confirmed by the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, to the delegates of the tribe of Hawazin, when they appealed to him to return the booty to them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I give my share to you. Narrated Marwan bin al-Hakam and al-Miswar bin Makhram. When the delegates of the tribe of Hawazin, after embracing Islam, came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, he got up. They appealed to him to return their properties and their captives. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said to them, The most beloved statement to me is the true one. So you have the option of restoring your properties or your captives, for I have delayed distributing them. The narrator added, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, had been waiting for them for more than ten days on his return from Taif. When they realized that Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, would return to them only one of the two things, they said, we choose our captives. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, got up in the gathering of the Muslims, praised Allah as he deserved, and said, Then after, these brothers of yours have come to you with repentance, asking for Allah's forgiveness, and I see it proper to return their captives to them. So whoever amongst you likes to do that as a favor, then he can do it. And whoever of you wants to stick to his share till we pay him from the very first booty which Allah will give us, then he can do so. The people replied, We agree to give up our shares willingly as a favor for Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Then Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, We don't know who amongst you has agreed and who has not. Go back and your chiefs may tell us your opinion. So, all of them returned, and their chiefs discussed the matter with them. And then they, that is, their chiefs, came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, to tell him that they, that is, the people, had given up their shares gladly and willingly. Chapter on If Someone Deputes A person to give something, but does not mention how much to give, it is permissible for the deputy to distribute it amongst the people according to the conventional custom. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them, I was accompanying the Prophet peace be upon him on a journey and was riding a slow camel that was lagging behind the others. The Prophet peace be upon him passed by me and asked, Who is this? I replied, Jabir bin Abdullah. He asked, What is the matter? 
Why are you late? I replied, I am riding a slow camel. He asked, Do you have a stick? I replied in the affirmative. He said, Give it to me. When I gave it to him, he beat the camel and rebuked it. Then that camel surpassed the others thenceforth. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Sell it to me. I replied, It is a gift for you, O Allah's Messenger. He said, Sell it to me. I have bought it for four dinar, gold pieces, and you can keep on writing it till al Madina. When we approached al Madina, I started going towards my house. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Where are you going? I said, I have married a widow. He said, Why have you not married a virgin, so that you may play with her and she may play with you? I said, My father died and left daughters, so I decided to marry a widow, an experienced woman, to look after them. He said, Well done. When we reached al Madina, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, O Bilal, pay him the price of the camel and give him extra money. Bilal gave me four dinar and one qirat extra. A sub-narrator said, Jabir added, The extra qirat of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, never parted from me. The qirat was always in Jabir bin Abdullah's purse. Footnote The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not mention how much extra money Bilal was to give. So Bilal gave according to convention. Chapter on A Woman Can Depute the Ruler in the Matter of Marriage Narrated Sahel bin Sa'ad, May Allah be pleased with him. A woman came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, O Allah's Messenger, I want to give up myself to you. A man said, Marry her to me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, We agree to marry her to you with what you know of the Qur'an by heart. Chapter on if a person deputes somebody, and the deputy leaves something, and the owner agrees that, then it is allowed. And if the deputy lends something of what is in his custody, for a specific time, it is permissible, if the owner agrees. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, deputed me to keep Sadaqat al-Fitr of Ramadan. A comer, satin, came and started taking handfuls of the foodstuff of the sadaqah, stealthily. I took hold of him and said, By Allah, I will take you to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. He said, I am needy and have many dependents, and I am in great need. I released him, and in the morning, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, asked me, What did your prisoner do yesterday? I said, O Allah's Messenger, the person complained of being needy and of having many dependents, so I pitied him and let him go. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, he told you a lie, and he will be coming again. I believed that he would show up again, as Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, had told me that he would return. So I waited for him, watchfully. When he showed up and started stealing handfuls of the foodstuff, I caught hold of him again and said, I will definitely take you to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. He said, Leave me, for I am very needy and have many dependents. I promise I will not come back again. I pitied him and let him go. In the morning, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, asked me, What did your prisoner do? I replied, O oh Allah's Messenger, he complained of his great need and of too many dependents, so I took pity on him and set him free. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Verily, he told you a lie, and he will return. I waited for him attentively for the third time, and when he came and started stealing handfuls of the foodstuff, I caught hold of him and said, I will surely take you to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. As it is the third time you promise not to return, yet you break your promise and come. He said, Forgive me, and I will teach you some words with which Allah will benefit you. I asked, What are they? 
He replied, Whenever you go to bed, recite Ayatul Kursi. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. Till you finish the whole verse. Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, Chapter 2, Verse Number 255. If you do so, Allah will appoint a guard for you who will stay with you, and no satin will come near you till morning. So I released him. In the morning, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, asked, What did your prisoner do yesterday? I replied, He claimed that he would teach me some words by which Allah will benefit me. So I let him go. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, asked, What are they? I replied, He said to me, Whenever you go to bed, recite Ayat al-Kursi from the beginning to the end. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. He further said to me, If you do so, Allah will appoint a guard for you who will stay with you, and no satin will come near you till morning. Abu Huraira, or another sub-narrator, added that they, the companions, were very eager to do good deeds. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He really spoke the truth, although he is an absolute liar. Do you know whom you were talking to these three nights? O Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira said no. He said it was satin. Footnote. Kamar. Satin. Footnote. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was inspired divinely about the whole story. And this was the reason why he asked Abu Huraira, though Abu Huraira had told him nothing. Chapter on if a deputy sells something in an illegal manner, the transaction is invalid. Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, once Bilal brought Barni, that is a kind of dates, to the Prophet peace be upon him, and the Prophet peace be upon him asked him, From where have you brought these? Bilal replied, I had some inferior type of dates, and exchanged two sara of it for one sara of barni, dates, in order to give it to the Prophet, peace be upon him, to eat. Thereupon, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Beware, beware, this is definitely riba, usury. This is definitely riba. Don't do so, but if you want to buy a superior kind of dates, sell the inferior kind of dates for money, and then buy the superior kind of dates with that money. Footnote Riba Usury, which is of the two major kinds. A. Riba Nasiya, that is, interest on lent money. B. Riba Fadl, that is, taking a superior thing of the same kind of goods by giving more of the same kind of goods of inferior quality. That is, Dates of superior quality for dates of inferior quality in greater amount. Islam strictly forbids all kinds of usury. Chapter on the deputy ship for managing the waqf, religious endowment, and the expenses of the trustee. The trustee can provide his friends from it, and he himself can eat from it reasonably, according to his work. Narrated Amr concerning the waqf of Umr, may Allah be pleased with him, it was not sinful of the trustee of the waqf to eat or provide his friends from it, provided the trustee had no intention of collecting fortune for himself. Ibn Umar was the manager of the trust of Umar, and he used to give presents from it to those with whom he used to stay at Mecca. Chapter on to depute a person to carry out a legal, Allah's ordained punishment. Narrated Zayd bin Khalid and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him said, O Unais, go to the wife of this man, and if she confesses that he has committed illegal sexual intercourse, then stone her to death. Narrated Uqba bin al-Harith, may Allah be pleased with him, when an nuayman or his son was brought in a state of drunkenness, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, ordered all those who were present in the house to beat him, 
I was one of those who beat him. We beat him with shoes and palm leaf stalks. Chapter on to depute someone to sacrifice budin, camels for sacrifice, and to look after them. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. I twisted the garlands of the hadi, that is, animals for sacrifice, of Allah's messenger peace be upon him with my own hands. Then Allah's messenger peace be upon him put them around their necks with his own hands and sent them with my father to Mecca. Nothing legal was regarded illegal for Allah's messenger peace be upon him till the animals were slaughtered. Footnote Sending the hadith to Mecca while one is somewhere else does not require that one should be treated as a muhrim. Chapter on if a person tells his deputy, spend it as Allah directs you. And the deputy says, I have heard what you have said. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, Abu Talha was the richest man in al Madina amongst the Ansar. And Biruha, garden, was the most beloved of his property. And it was situated opposite the mosque of the Prophet peace be upon him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to enter it and drink from its sweet water. When the following divine verse was revealed, By no means shall you attain al-bir, piety, righteousness. Here it means Allah's reward, that is paradise, till you spend in Allah's cause of that which you love. Quran, chapter 3, verse 92. Abu Talha got up in front of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, O Allah's Messenger, Allah says in his book, By no means shall you attain al-bir, piety, righteousness, etc. Here it means Allah's reward, that is, paradise, unless you spend in Allah's cause of that which you love. And verily, the most beloved to me of my property is Bayruha, garden. So I give it in charity and hope for its reward from Allah. O Allah's Messenger, spend it wherever you like. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, appreciated that and said, That is perishable wealth. That is perishable wealth. I have heard what you have said. I suggest you to distribute it among your relatives. Abu Talha said, I will do so. O Allah's Messenger, so Abu Talha distributed it among his relatives and cousins. The sub-narrator, Malik, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, That is a profitable wealth instead of perishable wealth. Footnote Regarding the statement, I suggest you to distribute it among your relative means. That is perishable wealth, and it is better for you to spend it in charity, whereby you will get what will be imperishable. That is, Allah's reward. Chapter on to depute a trustworthy treasurer for the treasury and similar things. Narrated Abu Musa, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, An honest treasurer who gives what he is ordered to give fully, perfectly, and willingly to the person to whom he is ordered to give, is regarded as one of the two charitable persons. Footnote The owner is the other charitable person.